buttholes always, or my butt cheeks are always clenched. What's going on, guys? I hope everybody's doing all right today. We are in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I'm gonna get some good views for y'all. Driving through here, beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous day today. 42 degrees outside on my dash. Um, I'm pretty sure it's in the 30s. Usually my dash has a couple degrees above it. So definitely in the 30s. Um, I could have took an alternate route. That'll save me three minutes or whatever. You know, it's not a big deal. But I'm taking this route so you guys can see some of these cool views over here in uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. 55 miles an hour. I'm going 65 right now. Let me slow down a little bit. On this trucker right here, we're gonna go ahead and pass him. Beautiful day, I love it. I love it. Yes, it is. You see some of the buildings coming up now. A lot of new, new construction through here. Also, you know, some history. But uh, yeah, I guess I believe this is considered the Midwest. I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah. For the future right now, I'm thinking about getting into car hauling. If anybody's doing car hauling, you know, um, is it worth it to get into it? I know I keep hearing with your own customers, it's worth it. Um, possibly I'm looking into starting with the dually and a trailer, God willing. You know, it's all in God's hands. You know, I uh, make a lot of plans, but sometimes it doesn't go how we we'll like it to go. So yeah. Oh, wow, a seaplane on top of us. I don't know if the camera could catch that. On the top left, a seaplane. That's cool. Uh, we got Western Express on the right doing flatbed. But yeah, I'm thinking about starting with a dually. I heard you have to start with a dually because of the insurance. Um, if you Let's say if you buy a semi truck and you start car hauling with the semi, the insurance is going to be extremely high. But if you start with a dually, you're making your yourself known with that insurance. And then whenever you move on to the semi to haul cars after two years, you know, or a year and a half, whatever, you're, you're already established with that insurance. You know, you try to, obviously, you know, you try to take care of it, not get into any accidents or any trouble. Those are the buildings right there downtown. Downtown, we're driving through downtown. And, um, I'm not sure if no trucks are allowed here, but if it is, where no trucks are a lot, I might have to take another way, but yeah, back on track to what I was saying, with the insurance, then it won't be that high because you already had it with the dually, if that makes any sense. That's what I heard, and you know, if somebody could confirm it, if you are into car hauling, um, I'm thinking really hard about getting into it. That's something that I like, and maybe even specialty car hauling, and you know, getting uh, good prices, for the customer and a good price for me because I gotta make money too in this economy. Um, yeah, we're going through downtown. Beautiful views, beautiful views. I like it. I love it, actually. This is beautiful. I don't think I've ever driven through downtown Minneapolis, Minnesota before. I don't see any signs where, where uh, no trucks are allowed around here. I know there's a certain part of Atlanta in downtown and you're not allowed to drive a semi through there. And I wouldn't want to get caught with a hefty fine. I'm not sure how much they'll charge, but I'm pretty sure that uh, DLT will charge uh, an arm and a leg for that. We're gonna NASCAR move it on the outside. Like that movie with uh, the thunder. Thunder something with uh, this guy. The Scientologist guy, whatever his name is. Uh, he's a good actor, he's a good actor, Tom Cruise. Beautiful views, beautiful views, wow, gorgeous. I like it. The downtown area is amazing. The the, the infrastructure is the the architects did an awesome job. Wow, look at that building on the left. It looks like a castle, dude. I need to get a drone. If I get a drone, I'll pull over on the side right here. I don't know if you're able to fly though through here. But uh this is no fly zone or what i'm not sure but that'll be cool to get a drone up in there wow look at that beautiful beautiful building on top wow gorgeous i had the phone in my hand and there's a 5-0 maybe i shouldn't do that no more that's a smart <coughs> got the transit police right here on the right Minnesota, baby. Yeah, I like recording. 
recording things. I like making videos and uh, and seeing where I've been. You know, you guys should do it too. You know, you don't. You know, if you make money with it, cool. If you don't, you don't. You know, I do it for fun. That'll be awesome if I can make some extra money with it. And then I can make better content. Uh, you know, one of my my dreams is to fly a helicopter and do cool videos. I don't know, maybe videos like Whistling Diesel and the other guy. Um, Whistling Diesel, Heavy D Sparks, you know, those guys are cool. It'll be awesome to get a lot of get a lot of views per video, start getting paid so I can buy some cool things. And I'm, in, I'm into cars too. And I want to build a semi. I want to build some nice semi trucks. You know, do some uh, startup videos. Does it start videos, you know? I don't know. Wherever it leads us, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to keep grinding it out and try to make, you know, decent videos here and there. <coughs> Excuse me. Still trying to get over this cold. I like it. I like it. I like looking at all the buildings. Something about that. Maybe if there was another life that existed, I wasn't. Something with construction. I like construction. You know what I mean? Wow, that's pretty cool. I should put my GoPro on next time I come through here. Because we come up to Minnesota a lot. Um, we have another route that goes to Texas. So that'll be cool too to go to Texas. I haven't done the Texas route yet. But uh, I just dropped off in Wisconsin. And now we're in Minneapolis, Minnesota. What's that on the right? That big ass building, that silver shining building. Uh, we're passing the tanker here on the right. By the way, I have all my endorsements. I have my tanker doubles, triples, hazmat. <coughs> I try to find a job, but it's hard because in Florida, like, in Florida is terrible for truck drivers. But I would like to live like North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, um, Texas, even Georgia. You know what I mean? Those places are perfect for truck drivers. The Midwest is good for truck drivers. Or, you know, better. Especially in this economy. But getting out of Florida is pure trash. I did owner operator for a while. And that trying to get loads out of Florida is just terrible. Cool bridges. They got some graffiti on the bridges here. Yeah, got more buildings coming up here. I need a, uh, I need to get a bit uh, more, more storage on my phone. And we got some bridges coming up, or uh, not bridges, uh, buildings coming up up there on the left. About uh, nine o'clock. Yep, facing near nine o'clock. I want to learn how to do a, a Chinese talk. What is it when you do that CB talking? I need to get a CB. Been wanting one for a while and I haven't got one yet. I've been trucking for five, six years now total because I took a three year break. I started in 2015, but I took a three year break due to some issues that I had going on. And um, God is good, we're still here. And, happen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Um, but yeah, I've been trucking for six years. No CB radio yet. Thinking about getting one as soon as possible. I have another video. My, my videos take forever to upload, so I'm thinking about getting Wi-Fi too and doing some gaming while I'm at it. Alrighty. Buildings are interesting. That one up there, uh, it's like part of the building is hanging to the side. I guess that's the way they build it for some reason. Um, it's kind of ugly, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that one is beautiful back there behind the trees. I don't know, something about me, something about me and buildings. Got the big crane up there. I heard crane operators that get paid good money. Not sure if that's uh, that's accurate, but I could imagine these crane operators get paid good money. And to be all the way high up there, that's nuts. You can see it moving up there on the left. 
crane operator doing his operations. Moving around in there. What's up, guy? What up? It'd be cool to get the drone close to him. Not not too close, you know. Just like right above him. That'll be a good shot. Pull over somewhere and fly the drone to him. I had the the mini one. But they kept losing signal. I got it off of eBay. I don't know if it was something that was common on those, but I heard that they are for some reason. Um, but it, I mean, it worked good. There's nothing wrong with it. But uh, they could have done better on the video quality. But I want to try to see if I can get the Mini 3 Mavic Pro uh, DJI. Those are probably the best drones if you guys are looking into buying any drones anytime soon. Uh, nice buildings, cool buildings. This is another part of the downtown US Bank Stadium. Yep, yep. I thought US Bank Stadium was AT&T before, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Um, yep. I like it. All the historic buildings too and the historic looking houses. Both times. Even some of the school buses look uh, antique a little bit. You know what I mean? Look at that one. It's got the old tail lights on it. prohibited from 94 tunnel exit right so it looks like we're gonna go through a tunnel I don't even remember this I don't think I've ever been through downtown Minneapolis so I think I've always bypassed it I'm pretty sure I'm trying to get over I just got to keep your eyes open as people like to brake check I can't count how many times I got brake checked coming from Florida to up here that, uh, recently I don't know what's going on if the powers beyond me are trying to make me mess up or what but it's like just nothing but brake checks and now nobody's letting me over of course come on guys let your fellow truck drivers over it's not going to kill you it's not put you back too much you know what I mean it's crazy it is what it is it is what it is I need to stop complaining that's something I got to learn how to do Gotta keep going on 94, so I'm gonna have to get over again. Um, 40, that's pretty much it, I think, after we pass this tunnel of the main things over here in uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna look into that T Mobile hotspot or. Uh, I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's put that engine brake. <laughs> Y'all hear that engine brake? Y'all hear that engine brake? Oh, you like that, don't you? Yeah. I'm just kidding. One day, one day I'll have them stacks. Ooh, look at that building on the right. What? That looks crazy. That's historic as heck right there. I wonder what year that was built on. What year that was built. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful building. That's awesome. I would love to walk in there and look at everything. See what it looks like. Wow. That is cool. This building is old too on the left. Never mind me, guys, you know what I'm saying? There's something about me and, uh, like I said, the structures. I don't know, I'm weird. Kind of weird. My son has autism, and I think, uh, sometimes I think I have a little bit of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that, though, you know? 
nothing wrong with that. Einstein was the smartest man, and he had autism. There's nothing wrong with that. One of the smartest men, you know. There's plenty of smart people in the world. Yeah. I like it, I like it. I'm getting some good shots. I would love to, uh... Until I get that drone for the hundredth time, I've already said it. I'm just blabbering at this point. If you guys haven't had it, try go to QT when you get a chance. Stop at QT and get that breakfast sandwich. It's like the grilled cheese breakfast sandwich, and then you add lettuce, tomato. Oh my goodness, my mouth is watering. I'm gonna have to get that when I go south. And I'm, I know my wife's gonna get mad at me. She wants me to be, you know, be healthier, which I'm not. I'm not eating bad. I would say not too crazy, you know what I mean? I could improve on it, definitely, a lot more. But yeah, those are the views of uh, those are the views of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Go ahead, um, feel free, feel free to like, share, subscribe. Uh, in the future, I do want to give giveaways depending on how the channel grows. You know, I'm staying positive and then see what happens. You know what I mean? Appreciate you guys stopping by and watching my videos. God bless everybody. Stay safe. See you on the next one. Peace. I forgot to mention it is February 2nd. Uh, February 2nd, Friday, 2024. I like to say that to know where I was at.